So, tanks. And APCs, AAs, mobile artillery, all tracked armoured vehicles. They all operate in the same way. So, uh, let's see, tanks are obviously your heaviest of uh, all your vehicles. Uh, they're the heaviest armour. They can take a real punch. Then you've got uh, your APCs, which uh, can be wheeled or tracked. Uh, they're a lot lighter. Uh, both variants in armour uh, use uh, six seats carrying capacity in the rear. Then you can go on to AAs and mobile artillery, which function exactly the same way, except that they are often further back from the battlefield. However, there is an advantage of moving your mobile artillery forwards, and that's time to impact for the infantry on the ground, so they don't have to wait three minutes for it to land. It could be 20 seconds instead. So we'll get straight into it. So comms. The comms are a split sort of three ways in the tank. So you've got direct comms, and direct comms are between the driver, the gunner, and the tank commander inside the ca inside the tank. Then we're using the uh, shortwave radio to communicate tank. between tanks within a tank platoon. So Victor 1, if they want to talk to Victor 2, would use the shortwave. Uh, all tank commanders should probably be on the long range, however, anyone that gets in a tank will automatically have a long range radio, so you can set it to 80. So now we're going to talk about, I guess, the, the type of orders that you would get in a tank and the hierarchy behind it. So, so the hierarchy goes like this, the, the, the driver, he's at the bottom of the list. He, he basically does nothing unless he's told to do it. So if it's literally a Simon Says game for the driver. If the driver's told nothing, he does nothing. Um, then the gunner is would be the next one up in command, and then finally the commander. Now, the gunner can take control of the driver if the commander passes it off to him for situations where you want to get hull down. So the, the type of things you would hear in the tank would be from the commander, and it might sound like this, like uh, driver move out, driver forwards. Uh, that would just be, you know, normal pace, off you go, driving forwards with your W key. Uh, he might say, driver forward slow, obviously that's a slow speed. He might even indicate what sort of speed, so it might be driver slow 10Ks. So he wants you to just do 10Ks. Then uh, there might be driver left turn, which is a 90 degree turn to the left. Then you've got driver left quarter turn, that would be a quarter turn to the left. Then you got driver uh, slight left turn, which would be a 15 degree turn. And then obviously the same for the right. You also have orientate, and this only uh, goes for track vehicles. So it'd be driver orientate 270 degrees, and that's where he stands on the spot, and he just spins the track. Uh, the tank or the vehicle to 270 degrees. This is used to uh, put the tank facing the enemy because um, with the RAM mod, and I'll tell you this now, frontal armor is so strong on the tanks that we'll be using tonight. So orientating your tank forwards will give you a huge survivability bonus. Now, so when it comes to the uh, commander and the gunner, the, the commander might spot a target first and then he would say target, then the compass bearing, so we'll, we'll just stay 180 degrees. So it'd be target, 180 degrees, and then the range, so 350 meters. So it'd just be target, 180, 350 meters. And then the gunner would go around to 180, look out to 350 meters. He might have to go a little bit left and right because often targets move. Um, but once he sees the target, he says acquired or acknowledged or target seen. He needs to report back to the commander that, hey, I've seen the target. And then um, the commander might have said uh, after all that, he might have gone, you know, fire at will or, or just hold fire, uh, depending on the situation. And then uh, the commander might give a fire order and off it goes. So if you were to achieve a hull down position, um, say we're coming up to this hill behind us, to the south here, you'd, you'd come up to about here, and then you'd say, uh, Gunner, you're in charge of the driver. 
and the driver would then take orders from the gunner and the gunner would say stuff like inch forwards just two meters and the driver would basically just a little bit forwards a little bit forwards until the gunner says stop and that's obviously where he's got his over the horizon there's also uh, commands like uh, driver continuous turn left and then you would just continually turning left until the commander would say driver steady and that means you know keep going straight in that direction I want to go into uh, disabled tanks and destroyed tanks uh, operating procedures. So, we say we're driving along and the lead tank, so, so we're in a column and we're driving along and the lead tank gets disabled, tracked out. Now, what, what you would do there is probably have your rear tanks flank left and right a good 50, 60 metres off the side, you basically you turn your column into a line formation with your disabled tank in the middle of that line and then you might use a third tank if you've got it to push up to make a wall but uh, the last thing you want to do if one of the tanks become disabled is all crowd the one tank because having your tank spread 100 metres apart gives you between all your tanks a bigger field of vision for everyone so, so they're basically covering, so it's actually more beneficial not to bring all your tanks in. Also, if a tank was disabled, you could also go um, uh, Alpha, this is Victor 3, we're disabled at X location, have the infantry come up and secure the outside of your tank before you get out of it. Like It doesn't have to be someone else in your tank platoon, especially if your tank platoon split apart and you're operating in different different sections damage and repair that's the side of it one thing you need now for the AGM repair system on all the tanks and vehicles that we use is a toolkit I think I just gave everyone a toolkit everyone just check your inventory do you want to get a toolkit yep. alright so what we'll do is um, we're going to spawn two tanks and I'm going to track and disable the turret off one of the tanks Anyway, so I'm going to spawn uh, two tanks. For the purpose of today, we're going to be using... Um, they've changed the names on them, but it's the Slammer Up was what it was called traditionally. It's actually the most heaviest armoured tank uh, in armour. I don't think the Op4 have anything as heavy. So it's called the Merkav LIC. So there it is. Okay, so driver, move out slow. Driver, turn right. Driver, halt. Driver, orientate 180 degrees. And it's pretty much like that for the driver. The driver is basically Simon says, but it's driver says. So yep. can I target uh, 270 degrees, 500 meters. The reason why you say the degrees first is it lets the gunner start to turn before he starts to range. And uh, in the new tanks with AGM, you can press tab and it will automatically range to the distance of your crosshead. The quarter turns are 45, and the slight's about a 15. Um, when, when you're in the tank, take note, there is there, there is a compass bearing at the top um, in the little thing. The commander gets it, the gunner gets it, the driver gets it. So using compass bearings is a lot better. I think I think it's easy for the gunner if he just gets the compass reading, like 270, yep. because he has it on the HUD. If, if he's zoomed right in and you say northeast, northeast is a big area when you've zoomed right in. Like, um, you, you, you'll notice it when, when you're a gunner. You'll notice it. There's, there's a lot of distance between, you know, north to east when you're zoomed right in. So getting, getting an exact bearing isn't, isn't too difficult. Also, here's one for you. Um, you could also go uh, target 270 degrees, moving left to right. So if you know that he's moving left to right, 
you would s come around to 270 and then start scanning from 270 to the right until you caught up with him. Or if you were coming back the other way, when you come back down to, you know, to 290, or depends how far out he is on the range, you might start scanning backwards until you got to him. Everyone follow that? Yep. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to damage that tank out there. I'm going to try and track it once, and I'm going to try and uh, take out the turret only. Then we're all going to go up. We're going to check out the repair stuff. Yeah. Uh, the actual impact on the other tanks louder than the actual shot. Let's go look. Well, you would have noticed prior to ram, those three shells in the track and in the actual tank would have probably just blown the whole thing up and it would have cooked off. So, if you all just want to jump in once and jump out, you can actually see what's damaged on the tank. You can all have a good look at that. You see, see how damaged and you're not dead in a fireball. It's pretty good damage, huh? Yep. Uh, generally, without ram, a tank like that would have just been fire and you would have all been dead. Not, if, if I was to continually just pound at it, uh, shell after shell after shell, it would eventually cook off in fire. Okay, so to repair this tank, it is just like the medic system. So you come up to it, you do your repair this time, check vehicle, and you notice that you can repair the gun and the main turret. Everyone should have that? Yeah. Yep. Uh, one other thing is you can unload the tracks, and I'll unload one. Each tank only carries two spare tracks, so you can only be tracked twice. Now, with the track out, you can now repair the track. So, if you guys want to start repairing that, just, yeah, just repair it up. You'll actually notice that a tank this damaged will take probably one guy repairing it three, four minutes to fix up. So, you will be out of battle for a little bit, which I think is a good thing. I don't think a tank that gets this damaged should be insta-repaired. I, I think, you know, if you get tracked, it'll probably take you about 60 seconds which I think is a bit quick still, myself, but anyway. Okay. Just the main cool. turret to be fixed. Well, yeah. So, so, so where, does, where does that track come from, Swift? Did you have to pull uh, it out somewhere? Yep. The, the track is, you use uh, AGM, and it'll be in the AGM inventory, and you have to unload it. Like I said, each tracked vehicle only comes with uh, two tracks. So, if you're running two tanks, and one tank gets tracked three times, then you'll have to... Uh, pull the, the other tank over to steal his, steal his yes. uh, track. Hey, Swifty, if more than one person repairs a turret or a track, does it go quicker? I don't believe so. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, but uh, the same generally, in, in a tank like this that was that heavily damaged, the first thing you would repair is the gun and then the turret. And the driver and commander would stay in the vehicle. I mean, the commander and gunner would stay in the vehicle and it would be the driver who's out repairing. Because you wouldn't, you wouldn't all get out to repair. <laughs> you were saying earlier that um, if there was a foot patrol squad or so you know, nearby, you'd call them in to help out while well, you kept the guys in the tank intact. Yep, yep. If you if you um, got tracked out in the field, and you know Victor one's way over on the west flank, Victor two's way over on the east, and you've got Alpha and Bravo nearby. squad or whatever nearby, rather than calling Victor two all the way over across the battlefield, you might ask uh, Alpha squad to move up and secure your tank. Why then your driver would get out and start the repairs. Oh, Roger that. Okay. Because cool. your tank gets disabled, it gets tracked. As the driver, remember it, Simon says, you don't just go, oh, we're tracked, I'm just going to jump out. And then the first thing that happens is 20 bullets come your way and you die. Because that's what happens, because the infantry don't always open, they won't open fire until you either turn out or you get out. And then you'll know about it. So so having someone there to secure, secure the tank, a uh, bit of a forward 
perimeter, I guess, will save tankers' lives. If everything goes red and the engine goes red, you may call an emergency bail because uh, there is a little bit of a time before it does um, actually blow up when it does cook off. And sometimes when it goes completely red, it will force eject you. So you might get that chance to run away. So if, you, if, you, if you're driving along and all of a sudden you find yourself outside the tank, start running. You, you can take injuries inside the tank too with uh, AGM. I got a bit concussed on one of the tests and I got out and it said I had been bleeding, but I wasn't actually bleeding. And I took two tank shells to the top of the tone at that stage and I thought that was fair enough. All right, smoke screen deployment. Um, Let's see, situational, I guess. I believe it can be used to thwart uh, heat-seeking missiles, but I don't believe there's any actual thing to tell you that the heat-seeking missile's coming in. So that's a bit sad. That needs some actual testing, I think. Um, I'll have to get someone with a lock-on missile and then drop the smoke and see if it does actually thwart it. Um, Different. Different vehicles are going to have different smoke. Some are all round, some are rear, some are forwards. Um, you're going to have to know your vehicle. Gunner orientate 300. Zero, zero. Target for 30 meters. No, I meant to say target acquired, Alan. Yep. Okay. Target acquired. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Engage. Cutting. I'm just going to butt in one last thing that I actually missed. And that is gonna fixed forwards, gonna fixed left, gonna fixed right. These are used uh, if you're in urban towns or you didn't want the gunner moving around. You can also do Gonna scan left, gonna scan forwards, gonna scan rear, and he would scan that 90 degree arc in the area that you tell him. Zero, zero, zero. Okay, all vectors, uh, line formation, prepare to move out. Uh, zero degrees, uh, slow speed, 20k. You got, yeah, sweet. Can I have Victor 2 scanning uh, left, west side? Victor 3, can you scan east? Hey, hey, Suits, is that black, the black thing you're... Yeah, black, you're, black one's That's where you're now. looking. Oh, oh, yeah, sorry, it'd be black. White one's you. mine. Yeah. yeah. So are we in formation? Tank spotted, three enemy tank yeah. bearing. Enemy tanks dead ahead. Range Gunner up. orientate. Oh, what? Oh, Victor's with me being, being engaged, uh, 54 degree. Engage. All right, we'll All gunners, it. open fire. Three, five, two. You shoot, Dudders. You got him, Oh, uh, we're surrounded. 352, got you. Yeah, 352, got him. So you press tab on him, get his range, and then just put it on him, you should hit him. We'll have to put a bit in front. You need to hit it one, Gluggy. I didn't hit him. <laughs> 12 o'clock. Zero, 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 target to our front, fire. Wrong one. Straight ahead, zero, Gluggy, zero, straight zero. ahead. Zero, zero, zero. We're gonna run into him. Zero, 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 zero. Full reverse. Buggy. Straight, straight, there, there. There, there. straight ahead. It counts upwards when you turn. Keep going up until you keep going up to three. Three sixty is like the highest it goes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What? Orientate. All right. Uh, We've got a target. Sorry. Say so again. Three two five. Three two five. Moving right to left. Uh, Victor 3 is all good. Victor 2, no damage. Copy that, Victor.
the one has light track damage. Uh, target's track now damage. 280, moving away. It's acquired. Fire. Shot. Oh, I run the ass. Boom. See up the top, Gluggy, on the compass, you can tell you're aiming left. Slow down, slow down, yep. left, slow down. Uh, uh, target zero three, two, two zero three zero. Victor three, you have one on your right, uh, ninety degrees. Say again, three zero three zero. Zero three zero. Victor yeah, two, zero three, three engage yeah. from somewhere. Engage. We're at the edge of the drive thing. a halt. Is yeah. You see an obstacle, Lex, and you're not sure if you should go left or right, just hold, man. Alright. Uh, flick back to the front, because I'm trying to scan as well. Uh, driver slow. Victor 2 is at the Victor 2 marker. Copy that, Victor 1's in position, waiting on Victor 3. Yeah, driver hold. Gonna scan left. Can't scanning left. This is fucking cool, eh? This is a whole new game. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Try turning on my Xbox. Control. Victor 2, new mark is updated for you when we uh, proceed. You are to move across the top and then down the back of the infantry in the forest. Victor 2 acknowledged. We're still hold though, waiting for Victor 3, who's going the wrong way. Uh, Victor. Victor 1. <laughs> we are approaching. We are lost. <laughs> Our um, target position. Hard to spread it up here. Copy that, Victor 3. Victor 3, once you reach that position, all Victors are go, and you're going to move straight down the road. I want Victor 3 to hold. Roger. At that marker there. Second Victor 3 marker. Roger. Victor 1, Victor 2 has got two Victor 2 markers. Do you want us to go to the outer one then move to the inner? Copy. Exactly. Roger that. You're to uh, engage the back side of that hill. All Victor's move. Full speed, damn it. Driver, orientate. 063, ahead full. 063. Driver. Uh, orientate uh, 085. Keep, keep fixed on that forest at 085. Yes, move, That's move, move, move uh, on to infantry sorry. forest. Uh, uh, driver, stay at 065. Gunner, 0... 82. That's, yeah, 088. That yep. forest up there. Cop. Or it might be that next forest, actually. Yeah, copy. Target. Copy that. Hold position. Engage all target. Orient. Uh, driver orientate zero nine five. Gunner. Target zero nine five. BMP. Range. What's range? I can't. Uh, Four hundred meters. Uh, there's a tree in the way. Can you just move forward a bit? Back slope. Still can't see it. Oh, uh, hang on. Driver orientate zero zero eight zero. Head slow. Yep, yep. Locate acqu acquisition. Yep, engage.
drive ahead slowed. Victor 2 has targets, over. Copy that, uh, keep moving and engage those targets. You'll need to use radio. Disabled. Driver orientate one one zero. One one zero. Our um, driver Gunner orientate one five zero. Uh, driver goes low. Uh, just hold position. Driver hold for uh, Victor one. Driver hold. Oh, on the tree. The head slow. No targets. There's a BMP at uh, 170. Oh, uh, fuck a tree. A trees. Yep, stop, stop, stop. Repairing left track. Through the trees at 181. 200 meters, or 150 meters. Uh, no visibility. Victor 2, can I get Just you put to a round through that tree uh, there. At, in uh, that uh, 181. southwesterly direction. That. To new Victor 2 marker, engaging all targets on opposite side to hill to Victor 1. Sorry man, I was in the map, I didn't see where that shell landed. Uh, drive ahead slow, just so we get around this tree. Hit halt. Oh, I got him. Oh, back a bit, back. Stay, nah. <laughs> Just go forward, but go forward, there's no trees forward. Shoot him. That's it, that was a hit. Fucking trees. Scan him. Driver head slow. Oh, wait, hold. Target. 146, range 320 meters on the road, BMP. Required. Engage. Uh, go ahead. Victor 3 has been repaired, we are on the move. Hit. Yep. All Victors uh, move to Victor BMP 2 marker, down. final Victor 2 mark. Driver, head slow. Uh, orientate 130. Uh, Sorry, drive orientate 130. 130. Victor 3, uh, you'll proceed Dunno. down the road, oh, uh, column formation as lead vehicle. Victor 2, you'll be second. Victor 1 will be in the rear. Roger that. You know you got machine gun too, yeah, Gluggy, but it's yep. just an F or whatever. Yeah, got it. Full, head full. I get uh, Victor 3. To follow their markers, uh, go slow speed, Victor 2, Victor 1, you can pick up speed to get that formation. Uh, orientate 03, driver orientate 380, 038, sorry. 038. Victor 3 is in position. Driver hold. Yep, roll out when ready. Ahead, uh, ahead slow, sorry. Uh, Where's my marker? Um, orientate, driver orientate 018. Hey, Victor 2 to move left. Uh, driver orientate 000. 000. Zero, zero. Contact, tank, halt. Zero, 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 range 400 meters. Zero, 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 400 meters, Sorry. tank. Fire. Tank to save it. Bang! Save the bullets. Tank destroyed. Alright, head slow again, thanks. 
Did miss this one. Oh, no, we're gonna hit it. Just got through it. <laughs> yeah. Collateral damage. I think we got contacts uh, head to the right. Yeah. Lying down. Yeah. Yep. Three, four, zero. Buggy. Copy. Clyde. Driver, orientate three zero zero. Three zero zero. See that, Lex? I said it first go. <laughs> nice. Tank zero one nine. Driver orientate zero two five. Hold. Uh, Victor three has infantry bearing zero four zero. Ready. There's, there's a tank three one four as well. Three one four. Do you want me to orientate to follow that tank? Yeah. You gave the wheel. That's three one four. Three one four. Oh fuck! Stop moving. Three one four. Quiet. Yep. Engage. Hit him again. That'll do. Uh, new target. Zero two seven. Moving left to right. Yeah. Oh. He's now at zero yeah, three okay. zero. I've got it acquired. Yeah. Fuck, he's hiking it. Does that turn your turret when I turn? Yeah. <laughs> Hang on, one more. Uh, I missed him. I'm out. Oh shit, he's not. Victor two rounds depleted. Oh, I got a refill. Got a refill. Uh, Victor 2 has rounds, sorry. Yeah, I've got 18 left. Woohoo! Good yeah, down. Infantry 043. Call again, zero four two. Yeah, oh yeah, call, call. 